Hi Aquarius, let's do a reading for you for the month of April. See how things might be going for you. And you know, this could not be strictly April. It could be a little before, a little after, you know, time is fluid. Okay, let's see what we have. Clear out the clutter. Okay, it's time to clear out some clutter. And we need to get some more information. But that could be literally, you know, like spring cleaning. But it could also be internally. And it's saying it's also time to watch and wait. And I love this, the Sandpiper Spirit. Fabulous energy. It's saying be playful. That makes such a huge difference and brings in so much happiness. Okay? Love this. Now, watch and wait. So there's going to be a time. You need to clear out the clutter, either in your environment or within, or potentially both. And watch and wait to see what happens. Mm hmm Okay, let's get some more. So, this always makes me wonder, are you taking the time to be lighthearted and playful? Look at this, you have sweetness. Love it. Wonderful energy of life feeling just so good. Now, this is disruption. And disruption does not have to be a challenging thing. You know, it doesn't have to be a negative. It could be anything. Like, say you're on the phone and somebody knocks on the door, right? So... It's how, you know, however it plays out. And here you have flow. This is you being in flow with the universe. So I am going to put this out here because it looks like it totally resonates with this reading. You know, here's this disruption. And here's being in the flow. And you can even see the visuals. These are hard lines. Here's this beautiful, soft, flowing line. And... You have sweetness. So it is a possibility that something could be coming in to disrupt the flow of sweetness. It doesn't have to be, but it certainly can be. Let's see what else we have here. Look at the bigger picture. Yes, definitely. Okay. And communication is key. Okay, yeah, you have um, a definite message coming in here for certain. Okay. So let's see what we have. Clearing out the clutter. Watch and wait what happens. And that could have to do with this. Because it looks like there's some really wonderful energy here. You have be playful, sweetness, being in the flow with the universe. And right here in the middle, you have a disruption. Look at the bigger picture. And communication is key. Looking at the bigger picture usually brings about a different perspective. So we can see life through this narrow focus. You know, what's going on in our immediate um, surroundings. And this is saying, see the bigger picture because it will most likely bring about um, a different opinion on your part. Mm -hmm. So it's really worth doing. And if you notice, this is in shades of pink. So are these. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. By clearing out the clutter, you are going to be bringing in the happiness, going for your happiness. So I, I tend to feel that this is more on the internal side of things, but it can be both. But yeah, by you clearing it out, it's going to bring in or you're going to be going for your happiness. And it's something that you're ready to get started. You're watching and waiting 
like for this to be done so you can get going. Okay, here it's saying there's something that you haven't been seeing that's been going on. But the way I'm feeling about this, it looks like you're bringing it to light through your efforts. You know, here you are clearing out the clutter, seeing the bigger picture, etc. So you're bringing something to light that you weren't able to see before. And it's also saying use your intuition because the answers that you're looking for lie within you. Yeah, you're bringing in the harmony and balance. And it is also alchemy. So through your efforts, you're bringing in this beautiful balance. Mm -hmm. okay. It's also saying take some time to go within to find your enlightenment. So on either end of this temperance, and if you notice, all three of these are major arcana. So this is a big change or a big happening. Not seeing something. Using your intuition. Here it's using your intuition to find the enlightenment you're looking for. So that while they are different, they do share. Right? And here is... By doing this, you're bringing in the harmony, the balance, and creating what it is you want. So here, right, being in the flow, the sweetness, disruption. So you can kind of see a connection here, right? Not seeing something. You're going in and searching to bring in the flow and the balance. Okay. Looking at the bigger picture, you will understand this particular energy, which is a challenging energy. It's where you're kind of feeling stuck. And this is coming from within you, okay? This could be the disruption, the reason why you need to go in and clear out the clutter. But it's coming out under, looking at the bigger picture. So, here you are stuck. You go in and you do these things, right? You use your intuition to see what you haven't been able to see. To find the clarity that you're looking for. This is going to get you out of this energy, right? This disruption is going to take you out of that by looking at the bigger picture and put you in the flow with the universe, which is very sweet. Mm-hmm. So it looks like this month is really going to be transformative for you. Okay, yeah, new beginning. Another major arcana. So it's kind of a big deal. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tarot out and... One, two, three, four, more than half of them are major arcana. So that says this could be a big change for you, okay? But it is looking beautiful. It looks like life is going along merrily. And I love this. Huge to me. Um, but there is something that causes a disruption. So it could be either solely from within, or it could be, you know, contributed by another person in the situation where it brings in something like doubt or there's some sort of a hassle where you're feeling stuck. But here's all the answers on what you need to do. And then it's bringing in a brand new beginning, the fool. And this is saying you've got to come out of your comfort zone, all right? Okay, let's get a little bit more. Okay, you have the Knight of Wands. Fast-moving energy. And this is you going for what it is you're passionate about. Okay? So, you're clearing out the clutter. 
going for your passion, which is leading you to your happiness. And you have temperance again. So this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. By you watching, looking, you know, here's look at the bigger picture. Here's watch and wait. So they're definitely related. By you going through this and then standing back, you're going to see what you need to do, the actions you need to take. Okay? Which is balance, harmony, and alchemy. So when you take that little bit of time to watch and wait, you're going to see what you need to do to bring your balance and harmony in. And you're going to do it. Which is going to put you in the position where you're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Love the Queen of Wands. <laughs> this is you going for your passion. Here you have the Knight of Wands who's looking back. And in this respect, he's looking over here at the be playful. Right? Clear out the clutter. Go for your happiness and be playful. Here, the Queen of Wands goes for her passion. And she's very bold in it. And it looks like what she is wanting is sweetness, calmness, happiness, joy. And being able to see clearly so she can get that. Right? So use your intuition and charge forward. Okay, now let's see what we get for disruption in temperament. Or temperament. Oh my gosh. Maybe that was a slip of the tongue. Disruption and going in to create the balance and harmony and using your alchemy, you are bringing in one of the best cards in the deck, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So you're bringing in the happiness, the joy, um, long-lasting for you and those that you really care about. Mm hmm Okay. So, there's going to be a big change that happens. Mm hmm Definitely. You're going to be getting out of whatever disruption happened and into where you want to be. Okay, look at the big picture. Here you are feeling kind of stuck. And it's your own thoughts. Look at the bigger picture. And go within. Use your intuition and your wisdom because of the questions you have. So you can find those answers. And here, communication is key. It's very important to communicate whenever the time presents itself where it's right. It's going to bring in the full energy. And this is saying that you're working hard at it. So you're going to be bringing it in. And just collectively here, the way I feel about this, it's kind of <laughs> like a wave. You know, things, th this is just a feeling that things were going somewhat okay or potentially good. But then something happened, a disruption happens. And so you have to stop doing what you're doing. Take the time to figure this out and to put yourself back on track. Okay? And it could be a totally different track. But it's smooth and then all of a sudden it's bumpy and then it's smooth. And that's actually like life, right? So this is you going through what you need to go through to get your life back on track. And so the last part here is communication is going to be important. Working at it's going to be important. And it's going to bring in a whole new beginning. Okay. So going in, clearing things out, Spending some time watching and waiting. Dealing with the disruptions. Having faith in yourself. <clears throat> Communication. 
going for your passion and letting this new beginning come in and also using your intuition throughout this it's going to benefit you okay and a lot of these cards are major arcana but not all like this is minor so this could be something that's not life altering same for this you know it could just be something that's coming up that you really need to deal with because it bothers you but it's not like these major arcana words a big shift okay queen of swords this is you using your truth to get this all laid out okay and that's repeated over here so this is saying you do need to go in have a little quiet time to sort through this to get the answers that you're looking for yeah okay this is different than this but they both are coming from within you both of these are your thoughts your emotions now they can be brought on by an external source but this is you how you're feeling and this is not going to serve you at all either one of them okay so you need to get out of this energy and here you have the temperance right the temperance card and you need to put that into action and when you do it's going to help you get out of these energies and into the flow with the universe and here you have justice which is bringing in the balance and harmony okay now let's get a few tea leaf cards and these my intention for these are it could be anything but it's smaller things that could be coming up during this time either wonderful little sparks of happiness or maybe some little irritants or something let's see what we have here casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation and by these cards here i would say it's the end of a situation one that you know you've not been really thrilled about how's that okay so that's leaving which is awesome parrot someone will gossip about all your secrets well that's on them isn't it the way i feel about this card it's one of those little irritant moments for me if somebody gossips about you well i guess if they have nothing else to do with their life uh-huh and just to let you know don't stress over it because if you don't have any big secrets guess what they'll do they'll make some up for you but so that could be a little irritant that comes up okay yeah it looks like it's going to be a nice change come on usually these just pop right out let me do this one more time and if they don't then i'll pick one okay wind chimes peace and harmony are coming in and right here flow this is perfect with that and one thing i wanted to mention then we'll close this out over here you have the sandpiper spirit be playful and your very last card over here is the fool and this is where you need to step out of your comfort zone uh do something that is a bit of a challenge right in a good way it also talks about being playful right which is right here be playful have fun make it an adventure okay so that's wonderful okay let's get a charm or two to see what we have to close this out okay <laughs> you have the skull and crossbones and for me this is the death card right 
you know, it's not a pirate ship, okay? But this is saying major change. And so your charm is just confirming that there's going to be a major change. And you can tell by everything here, it's definitely going to be for the better. And here you have a baby spoon. Put that on sweetness. This baby spoon represents something that is precious to you. So whatever this is that you're transforming into is as, just about as precious as, you know, like a little baby or something that, you, that you're so in love with that you're caring for as if it were a baby, right? So this is going to be really important to you and precious. Thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. Have a wonderful April. Much love. Bye.